everyone this is Mufaddal from Apple Vibes in this video you'll probably know the top 10 iOS 14 Siri shortcuts for Feb 2021 timestamps are given in the description below so feel free to start with your favorite shortcut and also do let me know in the comments if you like this kind of videos and want me to make more and if you do please subscribe to my channel for latest updates and videos that said let's dive in shall we okay let's start by going to the shortcuts app first i also have the shortcuts on my home screen as widgets as you can see now if, if you don't know how to set widgets of siri shortcuts you can check my video from the cards popping up right now i can run the shortcuts from here or i can go to the shortcut app as well so we'll go to the shortcuts app and here you can see i have a folder for top 10 shortcuts 2021 the first shortcut i have is media kit iphone mockups now what it will do is it will make your screenshot stand out in less than a minute with this cool shortcut all you got to do is run this shortcut but before that you will need a screenshot so if you have a screenshot already taken that's well and good otherwise i'll take a screenshot for you we'll take a screenshot then i'll run this shortcut it will ask me to create a mock-up i'll say yes create a mock-up then it will give me options of the iphones available for creating the mock-up it has options from iphone 5c up to iphone 12 pro max so i'll choose iphone 12 pro max here then it will ask me for the colors i'll say pacific blue it will run the shortcut choose the screenshot you just took please don't select any other image because that image will become distorted only screenshots will work properly with this mock-up shortcut it will run the shortcut it'll take a minute this will redirect you to a page where you can generate your mockup. So you have an option to generate the mockup. I'll say generate mockup. It will give the mockup just 3D touch on that image. You will have the options to even share or add to photos. I'll say add to photos here. And very conveniently that screenshot we just took has become much better with an iPhone mockup. So as you can see my screenshot has turned into an iPhone mockup. Next in line we have timestamp a photo now as the name suggests this will add a timestamp to any photo you choose from your photos gallery so all you have to do is run the shortcut it will ask you a message if you want to take a photo or select a photo say ok it will take you to the photos app choose any photo I just took a picture right now so I'll select that picture and it will give you four options to choose from date timestamp applied date photo taken custom message or location I'll say date photo taken you can either apply the timestamp or whatever you like i'll say date photo taken over here i'll say done and it will ask me for the text color now this is the main part text color and font size because of this i mentioned this shortcut in this video so i'll let it be to black it will ask me for the font size and pixels i'll make it uh, maybe 20 i'll say done and uh, as where you want that timestamp to be applied where should it be written on the photo so i'll say at the center of the photo and uh, horizontally you want left center or right i'll say center and there you go now you have a picture with the timestamp applied and with the black font and font size and at the center of the picture as we selected from our shortcut so this is a very cool shortcut to have in your shortcuts gallery Next in line we have YouTube start at time. Now YouTube has an inbuilt feature to share the video but you can't select where the video should start from. Like if I want to just send a part of a video you can't select that from YouTube itself. But this shortcut does that job like a pro. What I mean by that is we'll go to a YouTube video for that. And you, as you can see the video I am seeing I am watching is at 145. Now if I want to send this video to someone and I want this video to start from 145. All I have to do is just share this video. We will go to more and from the share sheet options I will select YouTube start at time. It will ask me for the minutes where this video should start from. I will say 1 minute. Then it will ask me for the seconds. I will say 45. I will say done. And it will get me the same share, sh share sheet as I had with YouTube. I will copy that link i can share it from whatsapp or anything but i'll copy it right now we'll go to the notes app paste it there so that i can show you that it will run from 145 when we go to that link so i'll open this link it will take me to the browser and as you can see that my video started from 145 on safari it didn't start from the beginning so this is also a very cool shortcut to have on your iphone next up is a very cool shortcut named as blurred background choose an image and simply blur that image as per your preference to set on the home screen what i mean by that is i'll have to run the shortcut to show that we'll run the shortcut it will 
take you to the photos app just select an image i'll select the image i have set on the background right now i'll select this image it will ask me that the image is larger than the screen so do you want to shrink it or crop it so i'll say crop it it will give me this image it is good enough i'll say done proceed and then it will give this two options these are the main options do you want to blur the box around the icons or outside the box so i'll blur the box around the icons what i mean by that you'll know after the result blur amount is 50 that is good enough you can set it from 1 to 100 whatever you want i have set it to 50 do you want to darken the blurred areas i'll say yes you can say no if you want the darken amount should be 25 for me then input corner radius do you want the corners to be circle or you want it to be in a sharp square so if you make it to one it will be it will be like a sharp square and if you make it to 100 it will be like corners will be rounded so i'll leave it to 100 i'll say done and very conveniently the photo will be saved in my photos gallery i'll go to photos as you can see this photo has been saved here all i have to do is use it as a wallpaper just zoom it out a bit so it will fit properly set as home screen and when i go to the home screen now you can see that the area around my icons have been blurred the wallpaper is there as it is but the area around my wallpaper has been blurred blurred to 50 and darkened to 25 and the corners radius we have set to 100 so the corners are rounded as well this is a very very super shortcut to have in 2020 next is birthday reminders never forget any birthdays ever you'll have to register birthdays on your apple calendar and then when you run the shortcut it will show all the upcoming birthdays for that month week and day even you can save that birthday in your contacts and still it will show that birthdays in this shortcut. So all you have to do is run this shortcut and very conveniently it will show the upcoming birthdays for that week or month or that day. And you won't have to go to the calendar and check individually if there's someone's birthday or wait for the notification from the Apple calendar. All you have to do is just run the shortcut on a daily basis or a weekly basis and it will show you all the birthdays coming in that week. 5 shortcuts done and 5 to go but before moving to the 6th one if you are liking these shortcuts please do give it a like also share to someone who's into using Siri shortcuts a lot. Now to the next one save to clips. It's a simple yet a powerful shortcut and I use this the most amongst all the shortcuts I have. Copy as much as you like and paste it and it should be in a span of 5 minutes actually for this to work. So I'll show what I mean by that. I'll go to this notes we'll copy this fonts changer you don't have to copy it in a traditional way you'll have to go to the share sheet share and then you'll have to select save to clips that's the first one next i'll select apple card I'll select it share save to clips next i'll select uh, ios switches simple share save to clips these are the three items i copied right now i can do as many as i want it i want to i'll just do three we'll go back i'll create a new note and very conveniently i'll just paste it in the traditional way normally pasting i'll just paste it and as you can see that very conveniently all that i had copied have been pasted here font changer apple card ios switches and this is what i copied before start before making this video stayed in that clips and when i pasted it everything got pasted here very conveniently next up is dynamic wallpapers now there are many shortcuts for wallpapers but this shortcut applies mac Bixer wallpapers on your iphone and changes them according to the time like we have on our macbooks and a simple automation is required for letting the shortcut to change the wallpaper automatically according to the time but first you'll have to set a wallpaper for that all you have to do is run the shortcut and you can skip the current theme or you can just refresh the current theme you just have to select refresh and it will change the wallpapers on your lock screen and also on your home screen so a mac big Sur wallpaper will be applied on your home screen and the lock screen like this but in order for this to change automatically according to the time you'll have to go to automations create personal automation time of the day i'll say sunrise one hour before sunrise i'll say done and and then next add action i'll say text text will name it as name automation is. plus run a shortcut shortcuts will say run a shortcut and in shortcuts will select dynamic wallpapers and next will deselect ask before running 
don't ask and done so this is just one of them we have to create seven six more like this total seven automations should be there so it will change according to the time now it now the wallpaper will be changed one hour before sunrise daily but that will just be one change if you want to get all the changes you'll have to make six more automations like this and when you complete all the seven automations it should look something like this this is how all the automations will look like and these are seven automations here one hour before sunrise at sunrise one hour after sunrise four hours after sunrise three hours before sunset at sunset and four hours after sunset and at the last one four hours after sunset the set of wallpapers will change automatically so you don't have to change the wallpapers don't have to refresh the wallpapers again and again moving on to the next one and it's known as our download i have shown many downloaders in my siri shortcuts videos you can check it out from the cards above but this downloader literally is the king of all of them has a lot of options you can download from facebook snapchat twitter tiktok reddit instagram whatever you want you can use just one shortcut our download and you can download it very conveniently i'll just show one example from instagram i have a post open from mr who's the boss here as you can see if i want to download this post all i have to do is hit the three dots above share to it will give me the share sheet i'll choose our download here it will ask me for the access okay ask you for the access for your photos just say okay and very conveniently that post has been saved in my photos so if i go to my photos app here you can see that the post with high quality image has been saved in my photos this is a must have shortcut for 2021 next is zip and share photos as the name suggests there is no option for zipping in photos on iphone well now you can zip as many pics as you want and share them as a single zip file all you have to do is run the shortcut it will ask you for the images you want to zip i'll select this images here i'll say add it will zip all the photos i can share it to wherever i want or i can save it to my files so i'll save it to files you can see at the top it is showing zip archive 7 mb i'll save it to files and i can rename here if i want zip photos done save and very conveniently those pictures will be saved in my cloud. icloud so i can unzip this just select this it will unzip I, in the folder i have the six photos i selected from my photos app the last shortcut we have for this video is known as walls and it is a very simple shortcut what it will do is it will resize the image to fit as lock screen or home screen wallpaper on your iphone because sometimes the picture is larger and it crops or shrinks in order to fit it to your home screen or lock screen but with this shortcut you can get the whole image on your home screen or your lock screen so i'll choose use this device's resolution because i want it to set on my home screen on my iphone so i'll select this but the catch here is it will distort the image a bit because it will try fitting it to the home screen resolution or the lock screen resolution so i'll select this image and now you can see that i have the whole image i can set it to my lock screen or home screen but my image has been distorted. that was all for this video guys do subscribe for many more videos like this coming every week and also share and like this video if you learn something new if you like my shortcuts thanks for watching this video my name is Mufaddal this is Apple Vibes take care and I will see you in the next video